Hey guys, what's up? It's Neelan. I haven't posted a vlog in so long, I'll post one today. So, um, if you've been on my music league, you may have seen that I am in our school's play. And that is the truth, I am in our school play. Um, it's called What Happened After Once Upon a Time. And the general synopsis of it is that there's nine different fairy tales, but there's something wrong with each one of them. Like, um, like, some, like either the characters don't agree with the story, or the characters keep, like, arguing over something. So yeah. Um, I play Gretel from Hansel and Gretel, and essentially the only thing that's wrong with our scene is that Hansel and I keep arguing. So, <coughs> sorry, I've had a cold for a really long time, so just don't, don't come for me if I heat up, run my nose, or cough, or like, this has been awful. Um, dress rehearsal was really rough. Like, we were having mic issues, like, the girl who was supposed to give me my mic didn't, I had to run over to her side of the stage, which the stage is going to be big, so I had to like sprint over to her side of the stage, get the mic, run back to my side of the stage, put the mic on, and then go on stage, which takes a lot longer than a minute, which is about how much time I have to go on stage after I get the mic. And, um, like my mic kept, like the mic box, because there's like a box and then the cord and then like the mic is on the end of it. Um, my mic box kept like falling out of my... I had it like in my pants scene, like right here, and it like kept falling out, and I was just like, ugh, so I just, just like shoved it like right here, so that it wouldn't fall out of my pants. That sounded, that sounded really, really wrong, sorry. Um, <laughs> anyways, just moving on, um, <laughs> like that kept happening, and so I went on stage and realized that my mic wasn't on, but I was just gonna leave it because I couldn't fix it at that point. Um, so I was just saying all of my lines with my mic off. It was, it was not good. It went really rough. But was, I was lucky that it was just like the school performance. It was just like a practice one. But opening night last night went so much better. Um, I was still like nervous up until my scene because I was worried that my mic wasn't going to work because <laughs> of what happened earlier. But it actually did work though, that time. Um, like she went over to her side of the stage and then one of the other cast members got the mic from her and then gave it to the stage director, or one of the stage directors, we have a lot of stage directors, <laughs> and then she came over and gave it to me and then we got the mic set up just to try for me to go on stage, which was good. And then during my scene, <laughs> this is the only thing that really went wrong, but went wrong, I can't talk today. Um, so there's one part of the scene where I'm like on my knees like praying, and as soon <coughs> Sorry, it's just, this cold is awful. Um, I was supposed to like fall on my knees and then just start crying. And when I fell on my knees, immediately my mic box fell out again. It was, so I was just, it was during the actual opening, I promise I was just sitting there like crying. And, but at the same time, I was like, just like moving my mic box back up so I could hold it with my arm as I was walking off stage. Because it was, I was lucky it was at the end of the scene too, so I didn't have to hold it there for such a long time. But after the show, um, we all do like curtain call and everything, and we have like, this big dance scene before that. And so we do curtain call, and then we each follow the person like that starts our side of the stage, and um, then we like walk down this like this little staircase in front of the stage, but down the staircase, and then go like to the end of the gym, and then stand, and then we can like meet people. Barely anyone came up to me. And I felt really sad because, like, I was just standing there because two of the most liked characters in the play were standing on each side of me. And I was standing there just like, no one loves me. So I pointed out that I did have to do a Dutch accent. Like, I was just, like, seeing character the whole time. And during dress rehearsal, Emily, our, the person who was telling our story during the scenes, she was like, what the heck? Why were you taking so long? I was like, I'm like, I'm sorry, we had, we had the mic issues, it was not working, I'm sorry, we figured it out tonight, so. Well, it was supposed to be Dutch, but it ended up being more German, but that works too, because we're going to actually are German. Um, so then we were, we were many people, and the only people that came up to me were my friends, my family, teachers, and, like, people who were saying hi to the people on the other side to me. And a bunch of my friends got flowers, too, from people that knew them, and I was just like, <laughs> but yeah, um, then I got home and my feet were hurting so bad, so I just, like, 
We had like a little bit of a celebration thing. Like as soon as I walked in the door, my dad, like my mom handed me a Rice Krispie treat that was left over from, um, we have like a bake sale thing that we're doing at the same time, like while people were waiting for the show to start. So she gave me one of the leftover Rice Krispie treats she had, and I got like a glass of lemonade too, and we were talking for a bit. So yeah, it was a fun night. Then I got to lay in bed and look at the all day. Well, all night. It wasn't all day. <laughs> but, so that was good. But, um, song of the week, because I really have no other thing to say about <laughs> the whole thing. My song of the week actually just came out last night. Don't come for me again. I know I did one last... <coughs> no, I did one last time that, like, just came out the day before, but, um... <laughs> My song of the week is actually another Pentatonic song. It's um, Bohemian Rhapsody. It's a Bohemian, Rhapsody, Bohemian Rhapsody cover that Pentatonic did. And I just heard it last night. It's off of the new EP, PTX Volume 4. Oh my god. It was so good. Like, I was almost, I was kind of getting teary eyed, but not like to the extent where I was like falling with Imagine. So if you guys want to hear that song, I will have that in the description as well as my social medias and other channels and things like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully see you in the next one.